Welcome back and today we're going to be looking at how we can keep leading zeros within Excel. We have situations where we'll need to keep the zeros, especially if you're working with things like barcodes. And we know that within Excel, if you were to click into a cell, say I'm just typing a random number and press enter, that will remove that first zero for you. So when you're inserting things like barcodes, it's going to be problematic at times for you. So it's nice and easy just to be able to keep that. And this is just three ways that you should be able to keep them. So starting out then, we can see that we have this first example here in A1. And in B1, we're going to show you how we did that. So we're going to press the comment there. And then if we type in the 001, then we press enter. We can see that from this then, it gets rid of the little bit of comment, okay? And, but we managed to keep the 001. However, if you click into cell B1 next to it, you can see up in the formula bar here that it's actually kept the comment part there. Okay, and then that way we can obviously keep the zeros as well, which is great, and we can do what we need to do with that. So again, we can click down into B2, the second example that we're going to have now, and if we were to just enter um, this, we can see that we have the general kind of setting up here for what we need. If we change this and we move it down to text, again, just press the 001, and we can see now that by changing that into text for the format, that that has enabled us to keep the front kind of couple of zeros and that works all fine and dandy for us there. So what we're going to do for this example then is we're going to select a couple of cells and then we're going to right click, we're going to click format cells, custom and then where we have type here we're just going to type in three zeros. We can then press enter at that point. So what this will do now then is if we were to type in a one at the beginning and press enter here we can see that it gives us zero zero one. If we type in the next cell below and we type in two ones, we can see that it gives us a zero, one, one, so on and so on. The next example that we have then is moving into this part here. So we can see that they have the uh, comment and then the double zero followed by the hashtag kind of thing here. So if we take that there, uh, we select it. And then again, we select a couple of cells and we go into format the cells, go to custom. And then again in the type here, we place that in and we click OK. What we can do now is click in the first one. If we click OK, we can see that we end up with the two zeros at the beginning as we would do in that cell. But on the next example, then if we put in two ones and we press that, we can see that that adds the two zeros into that there. OK, and builds on what we've already got as a base there. So hopefully that's a couple of ways that just help you kind of keep the zeros in Excel. Hopefully it's useful for you. Thanks for watching and I'll hopefully see you again soon.